So today on Magpie Garage, <laughs> Magpie Surf Garage, I'm going to try to uh, fix my headlight bulb because uh, my neighbor flagged me down yesterday and told me that uh, my headlight's out, so fun. So I'm kind of in a rush because I think it's supposed to rain today, so I'm going to do this kind of in a hurry. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove my positive battery terminal and then I'm going to go along and I'm going to pull up all these uh, button clips here and I gotta be careful because if I break them I don't think I can reuse them and I don't have any more fastener clips so I'd be driving to the auto zone with no front bumper alright so uh, I've broken a couple of, here I'll show you guys a couple of these cheap little fasteners you know these are basically what hold your your bumper on in certain spots and it's below freezing here in New Jersey right now. It's uh, the f January 1st, 2021, so Happy New Year. And uh, yeah, some of these heads will break off. I kept some where I kind of like lost the bottom piece or maybe it cracked off or broke in half. So I'll be able to mount this back on, no problem. I definitely have enough, but uh, yeah, that's something you want to pay attention to is to just try not to break a lot of these fasteners. I've already kind of pulled on this bumper and release the clips loose there. I just have to pull on it here and release it a little bit further and then I can get to the fasteners on this uh, on this headlight. So yeah. So pretty simple stuff guys. Looks like it's gonna you're gonna need your 10 millimeter socket. Pretty easy. That's exactly what I need to take my uh, positive off. So now I'm just gonna undo these three. One, two, three. So I've got my uh, bumper panel released here so I can finally get to these screws in here. I'm going to show you guys. There's a screw here. There's a screw here. This is the one that's hard to get to because the bumper kind of hangs over. And there's another one right there. So you have to basically pop that bumper loose. Um, one thing I've noticed is these first two clips come off really easy with this last clip it's almost like you really got to pull the bumper towards the headlight like this way you know back this way and then it'll come out free if you don't if you just keep tugging on it it'll probably break this clip so that's just something to keep in mind uh, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get this uh, bulb out like I said just uh, three three bolts right there I'm gonna take them out I'll let you know what uh, spec they are next time I uh, turn the camera on. And it should just be one wire at the bottom, you know, that mounts this all together. Uh, but I'm not going to take this off yet because I haven't disconnected my positive battery terminal. So, so I got my uh, headlight basically out and tilted up here, guys. So uh, this is your main connection for your bulb. You have a rubber boot around here. Um, it was just kind of hung up. There's like a little lip on this little nut down here. I don't know. A little lip uh, on this thing right here. So that's what the light was hung up on. Uh, so basically, I removed this connection here which is this brown connection and then I just took my main connection out I'm going to remove this rubber boot actually I might go ahead put my gloves back on just real quick because I'm getting my hands all dirty okay so basically on this car, it's a snap ring design where you got to squeeze those two wires together and it wraps around this lip. So the bolt goes inside this boot, back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my old burnt out bulb out. I might even go as far as to clean up some of these connections they're pretty filthy and uh, 
I'll get right back with you guys, okay? So with these boots, you don't really want to like be pulling on them because they'll just rip to shreds. So you get your screwdriver and just kind of get in there and try it. Down off the post. Old bulb out of here. It's very important that you keep your hands clean during this process and that you don't touch the glass at all. Uh, I have my bulb grease, which I think is open, hopefully. Maybe I didn't cut it enough. Nope, we got a little bit coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and coat these posts with bulb grease. So that we get a nice connection, no corrosion. Should I cut this open more? I'm struggling, guys. There we go. I'm go ahead and put a nice <clears throat> liberal amount. In here. As I'm outside doing this, my mom is uh, <clears throat> inside talking to her brother who's battling COVID-19 right now in the hospital. Kind of sad way to start the new year, but you know, we're just hoping the best for him. So come home, Pat. Be strong. I'm an idiot and distracting myself. You should put your light bulb in your boot before you go putting the grease on. So, it's just me being stupid. I got that all wrong. So your light bulb just goes right back in. Then when your boot goes in over it, I'm going to go ahead and put my boot in over it. The snap rings are already back in place. Now I'm, uh, I disconnected my, or I reconnected my positive battery con uh, turned on, I put my wire connections back together, and I'm just going to hop in and see if it turns on. Test it. So we're back in business. This one looks like garbage, so I might end up doing both of them if I have enough time. Hopefully I do. So I uh, got it all back in. It's all screwed in. I also took some uh, 1200 grit wet dry sandpaper and I just polished this whole light up because I hit it with I think like 600 or 800 a while back and it was really hazy. I uh, didn't really like it at all. I could probably go over it with like 2,000 and 3,000 and really, really shine it up even more, which would be nice, but I just don't have anything that fine at the moment. I only have 1,200, so that's what we're going with. And then uh, this side is looking like super hazy, so we're definitely going to hit that side, but i got to change that bulb first. Uh, looks like we should have enough time. doesn't look like it's going to rain yet, but I'm just going to hustle up and just uh, probably not going to be filming the second part of this too much. Just going to bang it out really quick and uh yeah get that other bulb in on that other side so all right yeah so uh i'm really glad my neighbor decided to chase me down the other day because i wouldn't have known about this issue and i probably would have ended up getting a ticket and it was also good just to change the other side as well and get a fresh light in that side because you know it doesn't make sense to change one and then who knows, a couple of months down the road, you get pulled over and you get a ticket for exactly what you just did on one side. So, we got new, uh, new bulbs on both sides. I just wanted to uh, update you guys on the Miata a little bit, too. I have an oil leak. Um, it turns out, uh, I went and I looked at it, and it looks like it's leaking from the cast O-ring, so it's going to be a pretty simple fix. So, I already ordered the part. I already ordered, like, a new uh, head, or not a head gasket, a valve cover gasket. Um, my girl was nice enough to donate a shifter boot, 
by Jazz Performance, so that's going to be coming soon. I still have my steering wheel to put in, so we're going to have a couple of videos coming soon just on different stuff that I'm going to be doing to the car and uh, trying to get it roadworthy. Uh, my DMV appointment got pushed back. It got canceled from on the 8th of January, so now I have to go to Medford on the like the 22nd I think uh, because everybody at Matahawk and DMV has COVID and everybody at Tom's River DMV has COVID so I'm kind of screwed there so yeah that's I'm just kind of waiting on getting my paperwork situated and uh, yeah looking forward to things to come so that's going to conclude this video and uh, if you liked it please uh, like comment subscribe uh, smash that like button smash 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 um, please share this video with your buddies Share it with your friends. Um, word of mouth. Just kind of get my name out there a little bit. All right? Because I'm going to be doing this vlogging thing a lot more often. So hope you guys have a great, happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Um, keep a good thing going. And uh, I'll see you next video. All right? Peace.